uh, I'll just mention that Harvard University, I told you yesterday that, uh, what is it, 31 organizations, Harvard organizations, uh, put out a statement blaming Israel for everything, for everything that happened to those babies. Israel is responsible, not, not the people who actually slaughtered them, beheaded them. It's Israel that's responsible for this, not the animals who did this. Um, it is unbelievable uh, uh, that, that Harvard students signed on to this. Uh, uh, I know uh, that some people are asking for the list of literally all the members of these organizations um, to be distributed so that nobody ever hires them coming out of Harvard. Uh, so that they, they pay for this uh, for a long, long time. We'll see if that happens, but that would be a good thing to happen. But then the administration of Harvard came out with a mealy-mouthed, non-committal, you know, it's horrible what's happened, but kind of moral equivalence. This is the Harvard administration. Um, and, and uh, you know, let me read you. I want to read you what Larry Summers wrote before Harvard published this statement. Uh, and Larry Summers, he was one of the good guys in this context um, uh, in terms of, uh, Larry Summers used to be, uh, years ago, the president of Harvard. He had to resign because, you know, he said something politically incorrect. Um, he, he writes, in nearly 50 years of Harvard affiliation, I've never been as disillusioned and alienated as I am today. The silence from Harvard's leadership so far, coupled with a vocal and widely reported student groups statement blaming Israel solely uh, has allowed Harvard to appear at best neutral towards active terror against the Jewish state of Israel. Unlike President Bakow's strong statement, this is a strong statement in support of Ukraine after Putin's invasion and the decision to fly the Ukrainian fly, a flag over Harvard Yard, or Dean Gay's powerful statement on police violence after the Rodney King, uh, after Rodney King, right? Uh, we have as yet, 40, 48 hours later, no official Harvard statement at this time of moral testing. Instead, Harvard is being defined by the morally unconscionable statement, a parody coming from two dozen student groups blaming all the violence on Israel. I am sickened. I cannot fathom the administration's failure to disassociate the university and condemn this statement. I very much hope appropriate statements from the university and college condemning those who launch terrorist attacks and standing in solidarity with its victim will soon be forthcoming. To be clear, nothing is wrong with criticizing Israeli policy past, present, or future. I've been sharply critical of President, uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, but that is very different from a lack of clarity regarding terrorism. Now, Le Summers didn't even need to say that, but anyway, then Larry Summers, after the Harvard statement came out, where they basically said, uh, he, he, he says, the delayed Harvard leadership statement fails to meet the needs of the moment. Why can't we find anything approaching the moral clarity of Harvard's statement after George, George Floyd's death or Russia's invasion of Ukraine when terrorists kill, rape, and take hostage hundreds of Israelis attending a music festival? Why can't we give reassurance that the university stands squarely against Hamas terror to, fr uh, to frighten students when 35 groups of their fellow students appear to be blaming all the violence in Israel. So uh, good for Larry Summers uh, uh, for standing up uh, against the Harvard administration. I mean, it is sickening that the top university in the United States, by, by many measures, the number one school in the U.S., cannot bring itself to condemning, unequivocally condemning, the evil of what Hamas has done. I mean, uh, this is, of course, the culmination of now uh, decades of moral relativism, decades of uh, uh, y y y this, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, worship of victimhood, and, uh, and, and of course the Palestinians are still perceived as the victims, uh, this is after, uh, you know, decades of groveling to the, uh, to the left at Harvard and internationally. Uh, this, is, this is the manifestation of all of that. And uh, uh, it's good that there are voices like Larry Summers. It would be even better if people like Larry Summers really thought through how we got to this place, really thought through what he 
and others at Harvard have done to the institution, to the way, to academia more broadly, it, it, to the way people think about issues, to the way people think about morality, to bring us to this state? How did we get to a position where 33 student organizations at Harvard can make such a statement? How do we get to a position where Harvard University's administration cannot condemn unequivocally an act of brutal, brutal terrorism like, like we just saw? Uh, how did we get to the point where people are so morally coward and, and, and so morally ambiguous that, that this is uh, the state of the world? Uh, there is a lot of reckoning that's going to happen. I, I, I often to have told um, businessmen, if they want to do anything to save America, stop giving money to your alma mater. If any of you give money to Harvard University, if any of you are the alma mater of Harvard University, I'm, I'm asking you in the name of justice, in the name of all of our sanity, in the name of the future of this country, stop giving them money and ideally let them know why. Because they've been taken over by a, a, a leftist, nutty uh, uh, segment of, of, uh, of intellectuals who, who cannot even stand up in the face of the most brutal, obvious, uh, you know, perceptual, uh, perceptually obvious uh, evil out there in the world. So uh, uh, stand up against this. Uh, don't send your kids to Harvard. Uh, you know, don't, yeah, you know, question whether you should be hiring people from Harvard, uh, particularly if they, if they were members in one of these organizations. May, get that list, print it out, put it up. If you're hiring people from Harvard, put it up there and and, and find out on their LinkedIn profile if any of the people you are about to hire, uh, you know, signed off on this statement. Uh, you know, there has to be moral consequences to these stands. That's why I say leave the Libertarian Party. Condemn your Libertarian so-called friends. Go out there on Twitter and call them on this. There's too much silence by the good guys. Don't let them get away with it. This is, you should be morally outraged by what is going out there. And I know... It's far away. It's in Israel. It what do you, you know? It doesn't affect your day to day life. Um, uh, I know it's it, it it's hard to keep it up, but uh, this is one of those cases. There are not that many where something happening outside the United States deserves your attention, deserves your moral outrage, and deserves your activism. Activism. This is a time to get active. This is a time to make your opinion, your views heard. This is a time to stand up against the evil. Of, of people who we often associate with and let them know how bad they are, how little you regard them. Um, you don't have to say much. You don't have to argue. Just call them on the BS. Just call them on the evil. Just let them know that it's not just me and a half dozen other people standing up against them, but there are hundreds, maybe thousands of you out there that are s disgusted by what they stand for. Call them on it. Anyway, my call to action, I don't often call you to action, but my call to action, get on the side of Tea Freedom and, and, and go out there. I, I, I've, I've, I've mentioned a few other good people on Twitter who've done, Stephen Pink has made some great comments. David Deutsch has been excellent on this, really excellent. I mean, again, we have certain disagreements on epistemology and other areas, but on his moral clarity, um, has, been, uh, has, has been excellent and his, his condemnation of those who make uh, moral uh, e equivalents has been excellent. I mean, um, I, you know, I salute uh, all those on, uh, out there who, who are standing uh, on the side of civilization and standing up against uh, barbarism and, um, and uh, murder and, uh, and everything else associated with that.